Yes. Did you know that the mouth and the vajayjay were connected in some way? Well, this is the reason why this... Hi guys, welcome back. So today, I'm going to show you something interesting. This is not a very glamorous topic to talk about, but first, did you know that the mouth and the, and the vajayjay were connected in some way? Well, this is the reason why this is not a glamorous conversation. Like I said in the beginning, I'm here. I wanted to sh tell you guys about how to heal yeast infections, the JJ infections. I don't know what better word to use. I don't know what what do you guys use? Okay, whatever the word is that you use. I just wanted to tell you guys. I, I just wanted to show you guys how to use garlic as opposed to going to the hospital to heal your yeast infections. A couple of weeks back. I did the experiment on myself you know how like you read stuff and you know about stuff but you don't try it yourself I prefer to try stuff on myself first before I show you guys if it works or not so I actually did try the garlic and with the first video I saw which was interesting what I found is that this girl she said that she put the garlic in herself and when it was saying to come out she had to like look for it i'm like dude that must be uncomfortable for giving that you're sick already like you have an infection and now you're using your finger to like touch the whole place you you don't you might be i mean you wash your fingers and all that but you know you can never be too sure what you need is a piece of garlic it depends on how bad your infection is sometimes if your infection is really like it's gotten to a, a later stage you can before i mean you have to see the doctor i'm not a doctor and i'm not saying that you shouldn't go to the doctor but if it's still early or even if it's in a later stage you can use it day and night and you can damage it a little bit to give it some little so that the components of the garlic can just uh, dissolve properly with your inside i don't suggest that you make cuts on it because it's really really acidic and for some people when you put it down there it, it's very uncomfortable and it burns and like i told you guys like the mouth and the, and the vajayjay are like connected so if it burns you down there you're definitely going to get wounds in your mouth but this basically what you do is get clean get a proper organic garlic and get a needle and thread to act like a tampoon basically like this i'm just going to show you the process this is it so basically like i said what you need is a piece of garlic that's my garlic right there and a needle and thread the needle and thread is to act as a tampoon so i'm just going to put it in this bowl in this tin here and i'm going to use uh, apple cider vinegar to disinfect it you can use regular vinegar if you want to put it in for a couple of minutes but after doing this i take it out of here and wash it and to wash it of all of the apple cider so I just washed this. I'm just going to dry it with a paper towel. So after after drying this with a paper towel, what you do is you have to tie a knot and make sure that your fingers are clean. Like it's very important because it's one of the reasons, like it's it might give you another infection. So make sure that your fingers are clean. The reason why you tie the knot is when you put the needle into the garlic, it has somewhere to hold at the end of it. People that do sewing know this. So if you just put it in. I'm kind of paranoid, so I put it in twice. And because of that, you still and because you've put it in twice, that's like damaging it already. So you don't have to like put the cuts for those that have to cut or you can depending on how bad your your infection is that's it so once you're done threading it you just cut the needle off and put that right inside your lady parts and sleep with it overnight and take it out in the morning this makes it easier to take out like a tampoon so basically you put this in and leave this out and you just pull it out in the morning and if your infection is really like it's but you can just one night is fine like after one night you'll find like you've healed especially if you've caught it really early and if you haven't you need maybe three nights in a row or maybe a week so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below what it is you want to see a natural remedy for also, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell right next to it to be notified the next time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!